So this video is just going to give an introduction to resistor colour codes. And towards the end of it, there are a few examples which you can use as a quiz to see if you can calculate the resistor colour codes and find out what the equivalent resistance is. So let's make a start. Colour codes, a bit about their background, uh, they were developed in the 1920s and they are suitable for physically small components as can be seen in this diagram here. They, for that, they're easy to read, uh, so you don't need magnification to read them, which on some resistors that you can get where you actually have a value written on it, they can be quite small and you might need a magnifying glass to be able to see them. With color codes, that's not always the case because you can see the color bands and you can calculate the resistance based on that. And the fact that they're color bands, uh, there is no real major orientation that you need to interpret them. You can see the color bands and you can work the values based on the colors. Whereas if they're written on the actual capacitor of value was, you'd have to get the orientation right to read it. So they facilitate a 360 degree viewing angle. So let's look at how you read a color code. Well, in essence, each color represents a number. For example, black is equal to zero. Brown is equal to 1, red is equal to 2, orange is equal to 3, yellow is equal to 4, green is equal to 5, blue is equal to 6, violet is equal to 7, grey is equal to 8, and white is equal to 9. That's a lot of colours and a lot of numbers, so is there an easy way to remember it? Well, yes, you can use a mnemonic. So this is a device, such as a pattern of letters, ideas, or associations that assist in remembering something. So, for example, some people might come up with a phrase like big boys race our young girls, but violet generally wins. It's a nice phrase that you can remember. And if you look at the first letter of each of those words and assign them to the relevant colors, you're starting at zero all the way up to nine, you have a way of remembering your color codes. Now, this is just one example. There are plenty out there. For example, if you want a more electronics based one, probably you could use badly burnt resistors on your ground bus, void general warranty, same principle. And for those reluctant entrepreneurs out there, you could have better be right or your great big venture goes wrong. So there are a number of different mnemonics that you can use. Uh, what I tend to do is I tend to get the students to come up with their own. Uh, it helps them remember it. But uh, you can use any one of these. There are plenty available. For this example, I'm going to use the first one I gave you. Big boys race our young girls, but Violet generally wins. So for example, how would you use this mnemonic? You write out the, the phrase, Big boys race our young girls, but Violet generally wins. Then what you do is you look at the first letter of each of those words and you assign the relevant color to it. So B, first B will be black, then we have brown, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, gray, and white. And then assigned with those colors, you have their relevant numbers. So black is equal to zero, and you keep going from brown to one all the way down to nine. And that is a nice way to remember your color codes, the bands and what values they are. Now let's look at how we actually use them on a resistor. Here we have an example of a diagram of a resistor and it's got four color bands on it. And if we look at this, we can see that uh, three of them tend to be grouped together and we have one on the right hand side that seems to be a little bit further away. Well, this last one represents the color band and it indicates the resistor's tolerance. So what do we mean by that? Well, the tolerance represents the percentage of error in a resistor's resistance. So what that's saying is, how much more or less you can expect the resistor's actual measured resistance to be from its stated resistance value on the package. In a four band resistor, as shown in this diagram here, if it's a gold band, we get, that represents a 5% tolerance. If it's a silver band, it represents a 10% tolerance. Now, if there's no band, that represents a 20% tolerance. It is also possible to have a brown or red tolerance band, which represents a 1% and 2% tolerance respectively. Let's look a little bit more detail about the, the sequence of the color bands. On resistors, you can have, a, for example, a standard resistor, which would have four color bands on it, or you can have precision resistors, which could have five or six color bands on it. The example shown here is just with five color bands, but I'll talk a little bit about a six color band, what that sixth color band means shortly. So looking at the standard resistors, again, four color bands, we have a, a diagram here of one and a photo above it. We talked a little bit about the tolerance band, but the three bands to the left, they represent the resistance value. And as stated earlier, the tolerance is the band over on the right hand side. So how do we read them? Okay, 
Well, we've talked a little bit about the tolerance uh, of the resistor. Again, just the example here, gold, silver, but it could be blank or you could have two other colors. So that's on the right hand side. And the resistance value itself is represented in the remaining bands over on the left hand side. So these are your resistance value in ohms. What do each of the bands mean? Well, the first digit of the resistance value is represented by the color in the first band. The second digit of the resistance value is represented by the color in the second band. And we have the third band representing the multiplier value. Looking at resistors with a five and six color bands. Now this is only a little photo of a five band resistor, but I'll show a diagram now of a six band just to highlight something. Again, we have our resistance values here and the five band is represented by the first four color bands. And then the fifth band represents the tolerance. Uh, and the sixth band represents the temperature coefficient. So on the resistance value bands, the first digits represented by the first band, the second digits represented by the second color band, and we have a third digit represented by the third color band. Then we have the multiplier color representing the number for the multiplier. And again, just to repeat, we have a resistance tolerance next. And if there is a sixth band, that represents a temperature coefficient. With this information, let's try an example. I'm going to show a photo of a resistor here, and this is the way the quiz will work towards the end of this presentation. And just in case you can't make out the colors, I will actually provide the color bands as shown. So in this example, we have an orange, white, brown, gold. What we do is we look at the first band and we know that represents the first digit of the resistance value. And orange represents the number three. The second digit of uh, the resistance value is represented by the second value. In this case, it's white. That represents the digit nine. Now, the third band represents the multiplier value and brown is equivalent to one. And we know that the gold represents, or the fourth band represents the resistor tolerance, gold representing 5%. So if we put that together, we have 39 multiplied by the multiplier value, which is 10 to the power of 1, and plus or minus 5%. So that gives us 390 ohms plus or minus 5%. The 5% range means from 390 ohms, you can have plus 5% or minus 5%. So if we were to do that as a range, it means we'd expect that resistor to have a resistance Although it is set for 390, we'd expect it to fall within 370 ohms to 410 ohms. Now, I did a measurement of this, and that's exactly what we got, 386 ohms. So it's within that range. Okay, so with this information, uh, take a little bit of time to, to try and understand that and to try and revise it, come up with your uh, mnemonic that will help you remember what the values are for the various colors. And once you've mastered that, you can go on to this section now, which is a quick resistor color code quiz. So what's going to happen here? Now, it is a presentation, so it's going to continually run, but you do have the option to pause it. You'll be presented with eight example resistors. You'll also be presented with the color bands in case you can't make them out from the, from the photos. Now, in this presentation, I'll give you 10 seconds to determine the resistor value and tolerance. Now, of course, if you do need more time, just pause the video till you're ready to check your answer. You will, of course, then be presented with the correct answer. Now, after those eight example resistors, there is another example. Uh, it's not a quiz, but it's another example of one that I've done. And it's there to demonstrate why we always measure our resistor values, just to make sure exactly what we have. Because we can see that there is a range there. And it's always interesting and important, I guess, to know exactly what that resistor is, what that value is that you're using. Without further ado, let's start the quiz. So here we go. Test resistor one. Here's a photo of the resistor, and you, if you can see the color codes there are brown, black, red, and gold. So you have to come up the resistance, your 10 seconds starts now. Okay, if that time was too short, feel free to pause the video, but I'll go on now and show the answer. The first color band is brown, that's the first digital resistance value, and brown has the value of one. Black is the second digital resistance value, and that has a value of zero. And red, well, that's the multiplier value, and red has the digital value two. And of course, gold is plus or minus 5% tolerance. So it's 10 by 10 to the power of two, plus or minus 5%, which is 1,000 ohms plus or minus 5%. That'll give you a range of 950 ohms to 1.05 K, or 1050 ohms. Now when we measure this resistor we got 974 ohms which falls within the range. Okay let's go on to test resistor 2. 
Here we have yellow, violet, brown and gold. Your time starts now. Okay, so looking at the first color band, yellow represents four, which is our first digit of the resistance value. The second band, violet, that has a value of seven, which represents the second digit of the resistance value. And brown, the multiplier value, brown has the value of one. And again, gold plus or minus 5%. So that gives you 47 by 10 to the power of one, which gives you 470 ohms plus or minus 5%. That gives you a range of 466 ohms to 494 ohms. And we measure this at 468 ohms. So as you can see, it's close to the lower end of the range, but it's still within range. Test resistor number three. Here we have red, 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 and gold. Your time starts now. Okay, so in this example, red represents the value 2, so we can see that the first digit of resistance value is 2, the second digit of resistance value is 2, and the multiplier value is 2. Again, gold, plus or minus 5%. So here we have 22 multiplied by 10 to the power of 2, plus or minus 5%, which is 2.2 kilo ohms, or 2,200 2, ohms, plus or minus 5%. So this gives us a range of 2,090 to 2,310. And as we can see when we measure this, we got 2.18 kilo ohms, which is in that range. Test resistor number four. Here we have yellow, violet, red, and gold. Your time starts now. Okay, so with this one, we can see that the yellow has a value of four and that represents the first digit of the resistance value. Violet has the value seven and that's the second digit of the resistance value. And red has a value two, which represents the multiplier value. And gold again, plus or minus 5%. So that's 47 multiplied by 10 to the power of two, plus or minus 5%. So that gives us 4.7K or 4,700 ohms, plus or minus 5%, which in a range will give you uh, 4,465 ohms to 4,935 ohms. And we can see that we measure this particular resistor as 4.6K, which is within that range, as we'd expect. Test resistor number five. Here we have brown, black, orange, and gold. Your time starts now. Okay, so in this particular example, the brown, the first digit of the uh, resistance value, brown has a value of one, uh, black has a value of zero, which represents the second digit of the resistance value, and orange has a multiplier value of three. And gold again, plus or minus 5%. So that gives you 10 multiplied by 10 to the power of three, plus or minus 5%, which is 10 kilo ohms. So if you look at that in the range, you'd expect that resistor to have a resistance within 9.5 kilo ohms to 10.5 kilo ohms. And we can see when we measure it, we get 9.8 kilo ohms. Test resistor number six. Green, blue, orange, and gold. Your time starts now. Okay, so in this example, green has the value five, so that's the first digit of the resistance value. Blue has the value six, and that's the second digit of the resistance value. And orange, the multiplying value, is three. And again, gold plus or minus 5%. So that gives you 56 multiplied by 10 to the power of three plus or minus 5%, which is 56 kilo ohms. So as a range, that would go from 53.2 kilo ohms to 58.8 kilo ohms. And we can see we measure this at 55.5 kilo ohms. So it's within the range. Test resistor seven. Here we have orange, orange, brown, and gold. Your time starts now.
Okay, in this particular example, we can see that orange has the value three, so the first and second digit of resistance value is three, so we have three, three. Brown, the multiplier value, has a value of one, and again, gold is plus or minus 5%. So that gives us 33. So that gives us 33 multiplied by 10 to the power of one, which is 330 ohms, plus or minus 5%. So that we'd expect the resistance value within the range of 313 ohms to 347 ohms. And we've measured this one at 321 ohms. And the final test resistor, test resistor eight, we are given red, red, brown, and gold. Your time starts. Okay, again, the first digit of resistance value, um, well, it's red, so it has the value two. The second digit of the resistance value, again, it's red, so it's two, and brown has a multiplier value of one, because brown represents one. And again, gold plus or minus 5%. So we have 22 multiplied by 10 to the power one plus or minus 5%. So that's 220 ohms plus or minus the 5%, which gives a range of 209 ohms to 231 ohms. Now, when we measure this resistor, we can see we have 215 ohms, so that falls within the range. Now, I did mention earlier on that we always want to make sure that you measure resistance. That's important to know what resistance value you have in your circuit. And just to give an example, um, I had an example I was going to use for the quiz, and this was it, and it was gray, red, green, and gold. Now, if we apply the same uh, logic that we've been using all along, the first digit uh, is represented by the gray, which is a value of eight. The second digit of the resistance is represented by red, which is a value two. Green, the multiplying value, well, green is five. And gold, again, plus or minus 5%. So that would give us 82 multiplied by 10 to the power of five, plus or minus 5%. So that's 8.2 mega ohms, plus or minus 5%. So if we were to measure the range, or if we were to use that 5% for the range, we'd expect the resistance value between 7.79 .7 mega ohms and 8.61 mega ohms. Now, when we've actually measured this resistor, we can see that we actually got 8.66 mega ohms. So it's a little bit out that, outside that 5% range, but it's quite a large resistance. So uh, there's quite a span there. There's a, uh, you know, nearly a mega ohm between its expected minimum and maximum. But it is always important to measure the resistor values before you use them so you know exactly what resistance you're using. Okay. Well, listen, thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully you found it uh, informative and please feel free to leave any comments on, on this particular video or anything you'd like to see added to it. And again, if you can think of any other topic that you would like covered related to electronics, just mention it in the comments below. And if there's enough interest, I'll put the video together. Thank you very much.